And welcome back to ETV, entertainment television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. You're probably wondering why we're all bundled up in the 100 degree weather, is that correct? Yeah, well, Deanna Dar from the Boise Weekly is here to join us to tell us about the coldest beer in Ada County section that you have in the weekly. Exactly, it's Boise Weekly's coldest beer competition. For nine years we've been doing this and we were out there again, hard at work, testing beer at bars across the entire county. Now tell us the logistics. How does this whole thing work? You guys just like go in and say, hey, bartender, by golly, give me a... Pretty much. We test draft beers mm -hmm. and we have a testers go out with a very fancy kitchen thermometer, which they then order a pint, they put it on the bar, and they test the temperature. Record it, and that's about as scientific as we get around the Boise Weekly. Now, you so. don't tell the bars that you're coming in or anything? It's just we don't. It's completely unknown. So if their freezer happens to be down that day, then oh, sorry. Ooh, yeah. Ouch. But it, it, it's, yeah, not terribly scientific. But we have fun <laughs> with it, and so do the taste testers and the bars and everybody in the process. And how many bars do you hit across Ada County? This year we tested 172. Wow. They're all independent, locally owned bars, none of the chain restaurants in mm -hmm. this one. Otherwise we probably would have fallen over from trying to test that many bars. But And I bet you have a lot of people saying, hey, I want your job. A lot, but after about the fifth bar, it, the novelty wears off a little bit. But we do, we do have fun with it. Right on. Now, it's a pull-out section. Can it you is. pull out that section? It is. This hey. year is the first year. It's in the center of the paper that you can pull it out, and if you decide to go on a quest across the county looking for the coldest beer, this can be your guide. Fold it up, put it in your pocket. It's very exciting. That's very <laughs> exciting indeed. Now, um, i, I got to ask you something. Um, what's the deal with CUNA? CUNA knows how to make a cold beer. This year, our winner is the Longhorn Bar, and mm -hmm. they came in with a temperature of 30.2 degrees. Last year, it was the four E's, and they're still in the top ten, so CUNA knows how to pour a cold pint. Might have to drive out there something. Well, actually, you know, get a designated driver to, you know, uh, drive that. Always smart. <laughs> now, as far as the section goes, I heard it's a pretty popular section that you guys have. It is. It's one of our most popular issues of the entire year. People love their cold beer. They just love their cold beer. So, do we need to wear gloves to read the... Yeah, floor? well, until you get to the back where the warmest beer is, you know, it might be safe to, to take some precautions, but by, by the end, you're fine. Sounds great. And it's available in this week's Boise Weekly? It is. Beautiful. Well, uh, I'm glad that you've properly recovered from all the beer testing yeah. that you... <laughs> yeah, there, there was a little bit of recovery period for everyone involved. Sounds great. It is the uh, coldest beer in Ada County, we call this? It, well, coldest beer, Just Ada County, Weekly's. but it's Boise Weekly's coldest beer. Perfect. Pick it up. Uh, I hate to say newsstands everywhere, but pretty much all over the Treasure Valley anyway. Pretty much. Thanks to you, uh, for joining us, Deanna. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to go grab myself a cold one on the break here. As more ETV continues right after this. Want more ETV? Check out ETV everywhere on YouTube.